Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Uh, with me, Nidhi. Now, why are you just standing there? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, last time we have cleared out the Orton Thike here on the right hand side. More or less, no, we still have this fractured stone here to find. But apart from that, I think we have all the things. There's the river. Nice little river. Yeah, I think... Water animations have come a long way since then. Anyways, uh, there's a couple spirits up there. You can just deal with them. Arrow slaying, like that. Alright. That one is gone. There's a lot more spirits down there, but they shouldn't be a problem. Especially if we can just take Morrigan and cast some storms over there. Cliff of Repulsion somewhere here. Perfect. And a storm here. Okay, that's great. Uh, is that golem from the bridge? It's the golem from the bridge. It didn't come the other way around. That's good. That's very good. Um, oh, she... Uh, she doesn't have spell might active. Now that's terrible. Yeah, it just means we don't get the full bonus of the storm of the century. Sadly. Uh, but can you shoot at the golem actually? Well, never mind, They're, they've broken through. Yeah, that was very bad. Didn't notice that we don't have the buff active, so that's not good. But apart from that, we have all the buffs we need, yes, okay. Yeah, let's shoot. Let's see, there's spirits over there. Let's shoot the spirits first. Possibly. Nah. Actually, let's stay on the bridge. Stay on the bridge. Um, Alistair, you can perhaps come over here, all of you. All of you. Okay, okay. Resisted it. Ah, all that screaming around. Uh, Put down another glyph of repulsion, please. 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 Uh, yep. Stone golem, can we shoot it? No, I can't. Can't really. Alistair, can you also come back? Okay. Now, there we go. Uh, it doesn't seem to be affected by the glyph of repulsion, but that's okay. Arrow of slaying. And some magic should do it. Okay, and Winter's Grasp. That's good, and the rest we can just auto-attack, I guess. Uh, can you attack, please? Thank you. And the other one, come on. There we go. Good. Now for the spirit shard from this column. And we have a broken chest. Dwarven armor. Nothing special. So, Morrigan, you have spell might active now? Yes? Okay. Don't know why we didn't have it active. She didn't die, did she? I don't think so. Uh, so, here we have a chest Very well. with fire arrows, okay, we can take them. And fractured stone with frost rock. Okay. Now then, I probably should also get used to just use the stronger arrows or any kind of arrows whenever we have like a, a an orange 
enemy to fight. Also, they are going away. What do they intend? I smell an ambush, probably. Can we shoot them? No, can't. So they're fleeing from us. But that can only mean they try to ambush us later on. Okay, um, we are around here. Let's just put down a quick save. And open that chest. Fire bolts and dwarven armored boots. Not the greatest stuff, but it's serviceable. Okay, so a save has been put down. Does that mean we will fight a orange style spider? Okay, so we have an ambush. Indeed. But no orang orange style enemies, do we? Well, all of you, go back, please. Okay, that works. Win some glyph of repulsion around here. Morrigan, some blizzard around there. Uh, archery can just shoot while we're at it. Okay, blizzard landed and the second storm. That should be a storm of the century. We'll just pull back across the bridge. Alistair, can you also pull back? No, 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 no. No, no. He can't. Can we heal him at least? That would be good. Uh, both healers heal Alistair. And I'll still try to pull him back. Okay, there we go. Mage is back. Okay, seems like we got all of them. So that wasn't a hard fight yet. Just like the waiting scene in uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace when they have these doors in front of them, these laser doors. Force barriers, probably. I don't know. And uh, Darth Maul is pacing back and forth. <laughs> Feels like that with this storm. <laughs> well, too bad, Emissary. We uh, killed you. Okay, so we have a large cavern again. Could we? No, we couldn't go there. That was the bridge. Do we have some more stuff here that we... Well, let's shoot the spider and Morrigan, I need you to... Mana Clash that guy. Actually, let's go a bit more to the front. There we go, Mana Clash. That guy, please. Thank you. So that was great. Now just nuke those guys. Okay. Um, freeze that guy. Okay. Didn't quite freeze it, but that's okay. Uh, we can fire up both of them with this angle. Perhaps some fire. Uh, Archer, please shoot. Perhaps I should use some preset on the archer for nearest visible, but the problem then is uh, archer will walk towards the enemy once more uh, whenever none of them is in sight, or even if someone is in sight. That's kind of the problem. But yes, I mean the spiders are not really a problem. As you say. Demonic Iker, okay. Morrigan in the net or the web. Fractured stone and a quest chest. Branca's journal, Anvil of the Void. Oh, Branca's journal. Good, good. Oh look, that's something that I meant I should remember putting. Yeah, we have plenty of fire arrows. Let's put fire arrows in. Okay, we just shoot it with uh, an arrow of slaying. 
Alistair, you just go in attack, and Win, you just stand around here. Morrigan, you go off to the side. Okay. Ah, she froze us all. That's not nice. Well, that means war. So, do we not fight the big spider now? Let's do a chain lightning. Ah, frozen again. Oh, there she is. There's the the, the, the quieter spin. <laughs> spider queen. Yeah, she does take damage. Uh, now for the small spiders, we probably want to get rid of them. Let's move up a bit, so we can freeze the spiders. Then we can burn the spiders. Then we can electrocute the spiders. And single target that thing. Alright, there we go. And freeze the queen, potentially. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's bad, kind of. Anyways. I mean, Alistair's back there. I don't think we get... It's... Oh, Win is also dead. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad. Probably should have... Prepared a bit better for that queen. Okay, let's try to get a chain lightning off. See how that does. Ah, she's... She's a pain. She's a real pain. So, chain lightning again. Did it not hit? Or do I have to target it? Ah, okay, I have to target it. So let's see what happens. Wow. Okay. Ah. E. Ooh. <laughs> Can't see. Uh, sadly, I cannot revive any of the other characters right now. Um, so I mean, Alistair's doing a fantastic, f fantastic job here. Uh, we don't have enough lyrium or mana to cast our heavy hitters, but I think we'll just take one and start casting Storm of the Ages and then just run away a bit just like that and then Tempest and run away okay, is it? oh it didn't land, damn back, cast it before it dissipates okay now, Alistair, not sure. You can just tank it out, perhaps? Right. I mean, that does deal quite a bit of damage. Can I heal Alistair from around here? That would be cool. Nah, not great. Not great. Uh, just stay back when, uh, when Morrigan... He can heal with a health poultice himself, I think. Okay, there we go, not bad. Spider's almost dead. Spider is dead. So, the Spider Queen still alive. And dead. Okay! Ugh, that was quite a fight. Didn't expect it to spike my healer and damage, uh, ranged damage that badly. Oh, it's okay. It is begun. When you cast Cleansing Aura, please. Alright. So that injury has gone, but she still has one. Penalty to cunning, it's not that bad, but we have injury kits plenty, so just do that. And we As you say. take all the loot. I shall do it. Lyrium potions. More Lyrium potions. And bloodline. Tier 6 axe. 
3 dexterity, 10 spirit resistance, armor penetration, 4 damage versus dark spawn in 2 slots. Yeah, not too bad. And mage gloves for 20% nature damage. Yeah, could be good. And the fire crystal. Okay, let's check the... Well, first put down a save. I <laughs> don't want to do that fight again. Cocoon, Smith's Heart, 20% fire resistance, but minus one dexterity. Yeah, okay. What does Alistair wear? He has something better. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, while we're at it, let's unequip the arrows. Since I don't want to use arrows if not necessary. That's where we came from. So, Fractured Stone. Lifestone. Couple chests with Ash Warrior Axe, okay. And a short bow, tier six. And Ask away. Not you, I want the journal. Branka's journal. This looks like someone's journal. The cover is battered and torn, but intact as you leave through this desiccated, desiccated pages, the text catches your eyes. I, We found evidence today that the Anvil of the Void was not built in the Orton Thike. We will go south to the dead trenches. The Anvil is somewhere beyond. My soldiers tell me I am mad that the dead trenches are crawling with Darkspawn, that we will surely die before we find the Anvil, if we find it. I leave this here in case they're right. If I die in the trenches, perhaps someone can yet walk past my corpse and retrieve the anvil. For if it remains lost, so do we all. If I have not returned and Ogren yet lives, tell him, no, what I have to say should be for his or ears alone. This is my farewell. Okay. So, not certain yet if she survived or not. So, here we have more fractured stone. With some more lifestone. And over here, hopefully, a uh, conveniently placed exit. Yes, okay. So we can. Apparently, that's south, so this is north, probably. Perhaps. Um, yeah, we have covered all of those, so time to go to the dead trenches. So that's looking ominous here, that black scar in the landscape. And some more lava or magma back here. Um, yeah, we'll just go to the dead trenches then. Perhaps we'll be ambushed along the way. No? So far not. Uh, cutscene? Okay. Ah, that's a couple dark spawn. Can only throw down a couple big rocks and crush a couple. thing doesn't look too friendly. What what's that facial animation? <laughs> well, nice try. <laughs> But, um, nope. <laughs> Alright, so we came from there and now we can go this way. So apparently there's a lot of darkspawn down there, but not anymore. Okay, they all went by. That's, that's friendly dwarves. With a couple not so friendly dudes. Watch out! 
Yes, we'll just attack them. Uh, do they have... Uh, they have an alpha. Not for long. They don't have an alpha anymore. Oh, they still have an alpha. Never mind. I'm not going to use too many AoE skills so far uh, because it would kill a lot of dwarves. I don't want that right now. We've had the level up. I mean, we are dealing good damage here. Even pushing them back. That arrow went around the corner. Genlock. Okay. Genlock. Erlock. Do we have to do anything or can we farm XP here indefinitely? I mean, we can reposition for a bit so we have a better view of the whole thing. Uh, there's another alpha. Well, there was an alpha. I guess. Okay, that was quite a few dark spawn. Okay, so we'll talk to you after we touched the statue. Is that Branka, perhaps? Could be. It's a female dwarf, apparently. Uh, yeah, so let's loot. Some cash, some demonic ichor, some... Some nothing. And a small fire crystal. There's more of them, but let's talk to Cardol. I trust Vala, Grey Warden. I've never seen one of your kind in the deep roads. Um, you know I'm a Grey Warden? I recognize a fighter of Darkspawn. It marks you. It's why we in the Legion of the Dead abandon our lives so we can face them without fear. It's a sacrifice I understand Grey Wardens are familiar with. What do you want here, Warden? Um... I'm in the end looking for allies. It's an odd tactic, recruiting from the front line. The dark spawn pitch their camps in our tunnels between your blights, you know. Give me a dwarven reason to look topside. Well, I need to find Branka. Who put this dull idea in your head? We got other things to worry about in Orzammar. Ah, now I see. The Deep Lords in the Assembly can't make up their minds, so the pretenders need added influence. I get that right? Uh, yeah, but that's about the gist of it. Warden, you got your work cut out for you. Paragon Branca is dead, everyone with sense knows it. Past our line, the Darkspawn kill everything. So, move your life. Uh, why, why hold back? I'd gladly lead an assault through the dead trenches, but without an ass in the throne, we have no orders. I won't take fool's gold from a pretender. You want to go digging blind? You go right ahead. So, um, anything more about the Legion of the Dead? We die in the eyes of our brothers so we can fight without fear. It offers redemption for the promise of the greatest sacrifice. That's all you need to know. To say more invites judgment, or worse, imitation. Okay, so uh, have you heard about the Anvil of the Void? My testers have heard of respect. Never seen it. And if it exists, it wasn't meant for me. But if you're looking for paragons, you may as well look for the Anvil. And Endless Lyrium. Okay, so um, I'm, I'll be leaving. Let us know if you find any paragons. You're as likely to find a dozen as one. Alright, a dozen paragons wouldn't be bad. So, uh, what do we have here? Some dark spawn that wants to Don't give them the be shot. I can work with that. Um, why can't I target them? Yeah, let's shoot the archer with the arrow slaying. Because why not? There we go, and the herlock. 
Give them the advantage. Okay. Oh, also, let's save and get the get the level up. All right, we'll get it later. Nice that they're coming one by one, so we can shoot them one by one. Okay, let's save and distribute the level. Uh, two dexterity, one cunning. Next, uh, over here, yes, what do I need? I don't think I need anything, so we can work on trap making again, perhaps? Sounds about good. Now here we have evasion, it gains almost preternatural ability to sense and avoid danger, it grants 1 in 5 chance of evading physical attacks, including being stunned or knocked down. Yeah, I mean, it's passive. Passives are always nice. I'll take that. I shall do it. Also, no more enemies. Uh, how many more do they want to send? Actually, let's use a scatter shot. Ah, it doesn't work if it kills the enemy. That's the sad part. So if I'm too powerful, my CC ability doesn't work anymore. Yeah, let me loot here, okay? It shall be done. And shoot the ones over there. Just continue. As you say. Okay. You will learn to fear me. Next one. Great. Uh, the longbow is great. It has a good, shall be done. Good range. If they come one by one, we can uh, easily kill them one by one as well. Because the bow has such a range. Shoot, come on. There we go. I shall do it. Uh, that one first. As you say. Here I somehow have to click them, otherwise they are out wary. of range apparently for auto-attacking. Ah, this one works. Okay. I mean, yeah, not too bad. Oh, look at that, what's that? Is it a... Uh... Oh, it's just an alpha. Ah, not that bad then. Uh, actually, let's use a scatter shot. There's so many of them in front of us. Uh, add a glyph of repulsion about there and some storms. Although, yeah, well, still, let's do it. They will charge straight at us anyways. So, so be it. storm over there. Damn you. Oh, there's also some Shriek guys. Okay, and the storm, please. Uh, Archer, shoot Shriek. Okay, storm lands and out of the way. Wait, Morrigan. No! Why did you disable Storm Might? Why? Morrigan. No. I think I'll have to change her... Um, change her spell routine. Honestly. Tactics. Morrigan. Um... Damager. Supporter. Controller. Now let's just go for, for Damager. But we just... Um, what was it? Custom 1? 2? 3. Now let's go for Custom 1 on her. Uh, ally health smaller 50 than heal. Yes, that's good. And... Then self uh, or any, uh, is it self any? Self any activate spell might. So she should always have spell might active. Save. 
and that should be good, hopefully, so we don't have these accidents in the future where we want to cast a nice storm, but we don't get anything off. Uh, so, Chen locks. There's a large monster. I mean, can we just shoot a scatter shot at one of those and see what happens? They're all stunned. Okay, can shoot them one by one then. Yeah, that works. Oh, that survived, and it's dead. By the maker. Huh. Not too bad. Now the other side, same thing probably. Uh, wait for the cooldown. Okay, just a bit more, just a bit more, tiny bit more. Okay, let's sneak up and get a scatter shot in. Great, just shoot. Uh, didn't miss, okay. Shoot that guy, shoot that guy. That needs another shot. Okay, Quickly, we must that fight. one. There we go, and we the go. last one. Now, I'm assuming, yep, triggered the ogre, which is good. We can just arrow of slay that guy and send Alistair in, whilst Morrigan will open up with what some ice. Uh, some lightning. Okay, not too bad. There's another Shriek, can deal with that. Okay, so all in all, pretty easy. As you the said, archers also began. dropped some things, so let's just loot them. Oh, another Shriek, yeah, it happens. <laughs> It happens. Okay, so all the loot can't go through that door. So we have to go off to the sides. There's another codex. Fractured stone. Lyrium dust. Not bad, not bad. Broken chest with fire arrows. Okay. So we have surely recovered the losses of fire arrows that we had at the spider. Oh, Cardol came over here. Do we have to talk to him again? Well, Grey Warden, I'll give you credit for backbone. You dug a line through the spawn. Still no sense in your head, but you've got skill. Yes, I do. Um, goodbye then. Good luck, Grey Warden. Okay, so uh, let's put down a save and end it here for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day and bye.